Hello YouTubers. I want to do a quick video of a, you know, disappointing afternoon. I got ready to do, actually I've already done some trading to uh, get rid of my Super Power Shot Nitrous Kit. It's on my Blazer currently because I'm not going to need it for the LS motor. So, I uh, was informed by my 12 year old that it, he didn't think it was right that I was getting rid of the nitrous kit and he had never gotten to ride in it with the nitrous. So I thought, okay, I'll throw the bottle back in it because I thought it was about half full or better because I've only got uh, basically two, two full eighth mile passes, a couple of little purges on the street and stuff like that. I thought surely that 10 pound bottle is going to still be half or more full of nitrous. Um, you can see uh, I've got my nitrous gauge, my all that. I got her all taped off since I pulled the bottle back out. Try to keep the crap out of it. And I, I've never been a big fan of these plastic bottle brackets. But the way I have this one set up with a stud and nut set up, a uh, 13 millimeter socket. I can take the bottle in and out in a matter of no time. But uh, I just wanted to tell you, we had put the bottle in it and uh, got everything rejetted because I did have the uh, nitrous jetted 55 on the nitrous, 46 on the fuel, which apparently was either a little bit lean, my spark plugs must have been a little bit hot. Or my fuel system isn't able to keep up with that kind of a nitrous hit because that uh, 55 nitrous 46 fuel is what I used when I ran the 790 eighth mile and uh, apparently blew straps off of three of my spark plugs. We didn't know. I mean, I knew it had been running a little rough since I brought it home. But we threw a fresh set of uh, spark plug number 24 auto lights in it and uh, found number 5, 7, and 8 didn't have the uh, straps on them anymore. So that 135 shot just took the straps right off of it. And that was with, I want to say I had it at 31 or 32 degrees total timing. I was running 90, 91 or 92 premium octane fuel. Uh, one thing I will point out on this nitrous setup, I don't have the optimum fuel setup to run a higher than 100, maybe 100 shot. Because basically what I have is a mechanical holly. 100, it's 110 gallon per hour mechanical fuel pump. But that pump has to feed my carburetor and my nitrous solenoid. So maybe... That's just not enough fuel flow to properly feed this. But I know the back half, the uh, firewall side of that engine was definitely leaning out. You know, when you, when you get hot enough that you blow the straps off your spark plugs, that's pretty doggone lean. So anyway, I, my son wanted to go for a ride with a nitrous. So I rejetted it with... Um, 46 on the nitrous 40 on the fuel uh, If you're doing the math that drops it down from like a 135 to a 96 or something in that neighborhood and It also tightens up the stagger on the jetting uh, Where I had a nine jet stagger on the bigger hit. I only j I staggered it by six to richen it up as well so I felt like that'd be a good you know roll maybe do some hits while it's rolling just so he can feel the nitrous come on. But I'm going to have to have the bottle refilled before we can make that happen. So if we go in here in the garage real quick, I'm making it very dizzy. We can take a look at those spark plugs. When you look at, sorry about that, we'll get this number seven here. We're missing something here. Wonder what we're missing. I don't know if you guys can see that. There, get it to focus. We're missing a little bit of a strap there. 
That's number seven. Grab number five, which looks like I do a little bit worse. Oop, where are you at? There you are. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Get away from it a little bit. See that number five? No strap. There we, there we go. Burnt the strap right off of it. But the very first one we found, which was absolutely burnt, was, get her to focus, number eight. I want you guys to look at this thing. That thing absolutely burnt the strap completely off of it and melted the uh, center electrode. So, yeah, I'd say that nitro shot was a little lean and was running a little, she was running a little rough with those three completely jacked up spark plugs. I'd say the number eight was probably why it was feeling sluggish and a little bit not smooth. Because I think there was enough of an electrode for that MSD to fire off uh, five and seven, but you can kind of see how all those spark plugs are oil fouled because those old '71 heads apparently needed valve guides, and I didn't know, even though I had the machine shop supposedly check them. Apparently, I needed valve guides and didn't do that. So anyway, I used more nitrous than I knew. Here's my aluminum. 10 pound NX bottle, which I weighed because most nitrous bottles come with the weight empty and filled, stamped on the in the actual bottle. This particular bottle doesn't tell you jack, it doesn't tell you what it weighs, nothing. So I basically had to weigh the bottle and it weighed 17.4 pounds. I completely discharged the bottle because I knew it was too low. And the empty bottle with absolutely nothing in it weighs 15 pounds. So note to self, when you have 2.4 pounds of nitrous in your bottle, you can build up bottle pressure, but it won't work. It literally just don't fuel and pressure for, you know, you get a bunch of pressure and you might even be able to hold it open long enough to, uh, start to get a little bit of nitrous fog out of it but you don't get enough nitrous to mix with your fuel to make the shot work so anyway that was my little lesson today on uh apparently i had my nitrous set up where i was using a lot more than i thought or i purged too many times because uh, i only got two full runs one partial run and Maybe a few little rolling hits, you know, you know, when I very first put the kit on the car, I kind of tested it from a roll a couple of times. Apparently it used a lot more nitrous than I thought it did. So anyway, lesson learned. Just thought I'd share with you guys.